All right, how you doing guys? How you doing my friends? During my last video post, many people request how I do retouch my family portraits or how I do editing on my family pictures. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I already picked up image that I'm gonna retouch and I will walk you through my retouching way. All right, first thing is gonna open that image into Lightroom so what you see right now it's an original image it's right away from camera it's a I shoot all my portraits in RAW format and basically the image already has to be I mean in good quality it has good lighting so to minimize any extra work on family images I don't do heavy retouching or uh, my whole points always shoot correctly during the photo shoot time, make sure you choose the good light, make sure you choose the good background, make sure your client uh, get really nice outfits or you help them to wear beautiful outfits. That way, it's dramatically gonna help you create beautiful images for your clients. For this portrait, I use it Canon EOS R5 and I use it at f 85mm 1.2. For this portrait, I have settings exposure was 1320 f-stop 1 1.2 iso 100 so first thing i'm gonna change the profile where i download the profiles for my camera i will leave it a link below so you're gonna find that link under the description all right so next thing is has too much white right here so i need to pull up uh, bring details back so what i'm gonna do just bring the highlights see right here and then i'm gonna bring some shadows details in the shadows slightly just so usually i like to play around like this I'll light up a little bit and i want to make a little bit warmer i like warmer images so like you see just a simple moving slides I already have a really beautiful image and uh, I do like more contrasty so just gonna add a little bit of contrast right here and I still need to bring more bring shadows in the whites yeah like you see it's a really perfect image it has beautiful tone a little bit more contrast I'll do a little bit of clarify right here and definitely I wanted to do a little bit of haze so kind of pop the image to make the image pop yeah that's it and maybe you're gonna remove a little bit of greenish tone yeah just slightly right here now the next move what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the luminosity I like to bring the luminosity over the bright spots and I'm just gonna play right here so I'm just gonna keep it this way this is too dark so I'm not gonna be using I just gonna a little bit that way I like brighter this is basically my setups in the light show now what I'm gonna do is just that uh, remove the noise by going with the luminosity luminance to the 29 in here in lens corrections I would just uh, keep it remove chromatic aberration and I definitely don't on click enable profile correction because I like vignetting that way it minimize my work darken the corners if somebody like lighter that's fine you can do whatever you you can keep it but I like more darker corners so basically I like vignetting and the rest I just not gonna touch it and the image is already has beautiful tones just gonna go back a little bit readjust some of the darkening so I need just a little bit readjust to make a little bit nicer tones all right so here it is I have already beautiful tones beautiful colors so the next step I'm gonna be exporting the this image as a TIFF file so I'm gonna be right now exporting this image into TIFF files and then I will upload uh, it to the Photoshop so that's gonna be my last step I mean next step 
So I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Choose. And here I need to change to the Tiff. Just make sure everything is unclicked. Export. Okay, now we can close the Lightroom. Yes. Let's get that. Okay, so here is my image. And this is how, how the TIFF file looks like. Waiting for the load. And here is my image. That's how it looks like right now. Looks pretty good. It's clean. Second step. We're just gonna load that to the Photoshop. Alright, it's here. First thing, I'm gonna examine all the pieces, anything that is not perfect, so I can fix it and remove it. Okay. For my editing, I'm using Wacom Tablet, medium Wacom Tablet, so if somebody's gonna be interested in that. I'm using right now a healing brush, so with the healing brush, i just gonna go and remove all the imperfections. Okay, let's go. Uh, ladies doesn't like the wrinkles on the face, so we're just gonna remove them. I'll hit just gonna scroll down everywhere to get out for the imperfections. If anything, I will just gonna remove it. I'll hit this on the leg. Scratches, I'm gonna remove those scratches. It is easy with the healing brush, it's really easy. Next step, I'm gonna do the dodge and burn. So basically with the dodge and burn, even up the, all the darker spots, just make it more even. So next step, I'm just gonna layer flat. So next step, I wanted to darken the background. How I do that, I'm just gonna create copy. So using the command G, or just to duplicate the, uh, your main image here. Command M, gonna bring out the curse. With the curse, I'm just gonna get darker. How much I need it. Here it is, and now with the darkened background, well, when I'm darkening everything, I'm gonna create the mask. I'm gonna bring here uh, 50% and just go over whatever I need to bring out to make sure it's light up, especially faces. And just gonna work on just only on the faces here. Here it is to bring to keep the faces darker. Make a little bit hands. Okay, now it's too much. Just gonna drop a little bit to the 25. Bring some out this little bit. Legs. Pants. Perfect. And that's how I darken my backgrounds. Uh, second step, we're just gonna lay it flat. And now I'm gonna remove some of those. Got it. So I'm using for my color grading always for all my images color balance whenever I need. The clothes right here is pretty good, so I don't need much. I'm just gonna try to play a little bit to see if I can come up with some more interesting. And I'm gonna add a little blue here on the shadows. Nice. Second, I will go for hue saturation. Go with the yellow, and yellow will darken or remove the green more. So 
slightly. Let's watch the pot a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna do some uh, selective colors on the highlights. Yes, that's actually changed a lot. So I'm gonna add a little bit magenta on the white. And we're gonna add a little bit yellow. And we're gonna darken. the details. Nice. Too much magenta, just gonna go over. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Pop, bring the pop, pop there. Colors, okay, perfect. That's it. Layer flat, and now we're gonna just uh, light up more faces. It just add a little contrast, and here is my family image. And this is my shot. And that's how I do process my family images. I hope you guys learned something. Now I'm gonna save it. I'll save in the TIFF. I always save my images in the TIFF. Uh, TIFF provides you right away. Uh, working in the 16 bit, and that's what I do. I work always in the 16 bit. So, guys, here is my before image and after image. Before, after. That's my processing usually for my family images. More warmer, more colorful, beautiful shot. All right. That's how I edit. We'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys like it, how it's turned out. We'll see you next video. Have a good day. Bye.